Frank, good morning. And we just spoke to West Hollywood Mayor Pro Tem Seppi Shine, and she says this is something that the city is considering at this point. It is a pilot program, but the overall goal here is to make Fountain Avenue just a little more safer and, of course, a little more consistent when it comes to the lanes. Now, this is a live look at Fountain this morning. As you can see, it's not very busy because it is a holiday week, but Fountain does usually get pretty busy. This area here sees about 37,000 vehicles per day. Now, the pilot program specifically specifically applies to this stretch of Fountain Avenue, which goes from La Cienega all the way until La Brea. It's about two miles. Now, the city is considering two options, and both options essentially will reduce parking spaces out here and will shrink Fountain down as far as the traffic lanes are concerned. So take a look. This is the first option. The plan calls for seven to eight feet of space for bike lanes, as well as barriers that separate them from vehicular traffic. This option provides the best protection for bicyclists, greatest overall safety upgrades, including upgrading the sidewalks, almost all of which are non-compliant with ADA standards at the moment. The con with this one, Fountain Avenue, will lose about 150 and 190 to 190 on-street parking spaces on one side of the street. Now, the second option allocates the bike lanes five to six feet of width, but no barriers. This scenario would be less disruptive to the area. The drawback, however, it would mean a loss of 35 to 40 parking spaces. And the third option is to do nothing at all to leave Fountain Avenue as it is. Last night during the city council meeting, many people showed up arguing that they should leave the street alone, but the mayor says there's a bigger plan here. But this will also increase traffic and take away parking spaces. So it will take away uh, some parking spaces, about seven per block, but uh, the staff is looking into creating more parking spaces on the side streets. So we're going to look into that. And the traffic is actually going to be diverted to Sunset, uh, Santa Monica, Melrose, and Beverly. So actually, uh, the speeding cars that have caused uh, many, many accidents. There's over 2,000 ticketed people uh, getting citations using uh, this street as a freeway, and that's going to stop. And back here live, you heard the mayor pro tem talking about diverting traffic. Now, majority of the traffic will, of course, go to Santa Monica and to Sunset. And that means about 40% more traffic for the parallel streets that run parallel to Fountain Avenue here. Now, as far as parking goes, according to uh, the mayor pro tem, she says another option is also to use Plummer Park for overnight parking for the residents in that specific area. That is the very latest. I'm Lena Bourbon reporting live here on Drive 5 in West Hollywood. We'll send it back to you.